Senator Paul. Dr. Fauci, the idea that a government official like yourself would claim unilaterally, unilaterally to represent science, that any criticism of you would be considered a criticism of science <clears throat> itself, is quite dangerous. Yeah. Central planning, whether it be of the economy or of science, is risky because of the fallibility of the planner. It would not be so catastrophic if the planner were simply one physician in Peoria, then the mistakes would only affect that physician's patients, the people who chose that physician. But when the planner is a government official, like yourself, who rules by mandate, the errors are compounded and become much more harmful. A planner who believes he is the science leads to an arrogance that justifies, in his mind, using government resources to smear and to destroy the reputations of other scientists who disagree with him. In an email exchange with Dr. Collins, you conspire, and I quote here directly from the email, to create a quick and devastating published takedown of three prominent epidemiologists from Harvard, Oxford, and Stanford. Apparently, there's a lot of fringe epidemiologists at Harvard, Oxford, and Stanford. <laughs> and you quote in the email that they were from Dr. Collins, and you, you agree that they are fringe. And immediately, there's this takedown effort. A published takedown, though, you know, doesn't exactly conjure up the image of a dispassionate scientist. Instead of engaging them on the merits, you and Dr. Collins sought to smear them as fringe and take them down, and not in journals, in lay press. This is not only antithetical to the scientific method, it's the epitome of cheap politics, and it's reprehensible, Dr. Fauci. Yep. Do you really think it's appropriate to use your $420,000 salary to attack scientists that disagree with you? Oh, this should be good. The, the email you're referring to was an email of Dr. Collins to me. If you look at the email that you responded to and hurried up and said, I can do it, I can do it. We yeah, got something exactly. in Wired no, magazine. No, no, no. I think in you usual did. fashion, Senator, you are distorting everything about me. Did you First ever object all, to Dr. Collins's characterization oh, of them as fringe? Did you write back to Dr. Collins and say, no, they're not fringe, they're esteemed scientists, and it would be beneath me I, I did to not do that. You right. responded to him that you would do it, and you immediately got an article you, you, in Wired, you, you, and you sent it back to him and said, hey, look, I've got them, I nailed them in Wired of all scientific publications. That's not publications. what went on. You there you go again. That you was just do the same thing every year. Well, that was your response. And so, this, wasn't, so, this wasn't the only time. So your desire to take You're down people... You're absolutely incorrect. As usual, Senator, you no. are incorrect. Almost everything you well, said... Well, no, you deny, you deny, right. but the emails tell the truth of this. No. This wasn't the only time. Your desire to take down those who disagree with you didn't stop with Harvard, Oxford, and Stanford. You conspired with Peter Dazak, who you communicated with privately, and other members of the scientific community that wrote opinion pieces for Nature... Five of them signed a, a paper for Nature, an opinion piece. Seventeen signed a paper that called it conspiracy theory, the idea that the virus could have originated in the lab. Do you think words like conspiracy theory should be in a scientific paper? Senator, I never used that word when I was referring to it. You're distorting virtually everything. Did you communicate with the five scientists who wrote the opinion piece in Nature? Were they... We're describing, oh, this, there's no way this could that have come from, was from the lab. That was not me. But did I did. you talk with any of those See, scientists but privately? You keep, the, you keep distorting you? the truth. It is, it is you stunning talk, how you, you do Did you talk that? to any of the scientists privately yes. who wrote the opinion? You did. Well, what were they telling you privately? Well, well let me explain. You know this you're guy. going back to that original discussion when I brought together a group of people to look at every possibility with an open mind. So you, not Boy. only are you distorting it, you were completely turning it around, as Were most you of the scientists do. that came to you privately, did they come to you privately and say, no way this came from the lab? Or was their initial impression, Dr. Gary and Dr. others that were involved, was their initial impression actually that it looked very suspicious for a virus you know, that came from a lab? Senator, we are here at a committee to look at a, a virus now that has killed almost 900,000 people. And the purpose yeah. of the committee was to try and get things out, how we can help to get the American public. And you keep coming back to personal attacks on me that have absolutely no relevance to reality. Do you think anybody has had more influence let, over let our response finish. to this than you have? Do you, Madam think it's a great Chair, exactly. Do you think it's a great success what's happened right. so far? Do you think you, the lockdowns you said, are good for our kids? 
Do you think we slowed down the death rate? More people have died now under President Biden than did under President Trump. You are the one responsible. You are the architect. You are the lead architect for the response from the government. And now 800,000 people have died. Right. Do you think it's a, a winning success what you've advocated for government? Um, Senator, first of all, <clears throat> if you look at everything that I said, you accuse me of in a monolithic way telling people what they need to do. Everything that I've said has been in support of the CDC guidelines. Wear a mask, <laughs> get boosted. And you've advocated get vaccine, to make it coercive take, and take done a look at course, everything that I've said. You've advocated it be done by mandate. But you, you've advocated that your infallible opinion be dictated by law. Right. So again, Madam Chair, I would like just a couple of minutes because all right. this, th this happens all the time. You personally attack me and with absolutely not a shred of evidence of anything you say. I would like to make something clear to the committee. He's doing this for political reasons. Oh. What you need to do is he said in front of <laughs> this you committee. Do, you think your takedown of I was, prominent I was epidemiologist was not political? You, you don't want me that to finish because you know what I'm going to say. Senator, that was the question. Senator, Were you political we in taking this, down right, these three point, prominent epidemiologists? Senator Paul, if you would please, um, I'm going to allow this, uh, the, Dr. Fauci to respond. We have a number of senators yeah. who would like to ask questions, and I would like him to be able to respond. Please do so. so the last time we had a committee or the time before, he was accusing me of being responsible for the death of five, four to five million people, which is really irresponsible. And I say, why is he doing that? There are two reasons why that's really bad. Oh, the first is bad. it distracts from what we're all trying to do here today oh. is get our arms around the epidemic and the pandemic that we're dealing with not something imaginary. Number two, what happens when he gets out and accuses me of things that are completely untrue is that all of a sudden that kindles the crazies out there and I have life that threats upon my life, oh. harassment of my family oh. and my children with oh. obscene phone calls because oh, people are cool. lying well, about me. Brandon? Now, you know, I guess you could say, well, that's the way it goes. I can take the hit. Well, it, it, it makes a difference because as some of you may know, just about three or four weeks ago on December 21st, a Wait. person was arrested who was on their way from Sacramento to Washington, D.C. at a speed stop in Iowa. And they asked, the police asked him where he was going, and he was going to Washington, D.C. to kill Dr. Fauci. <laughs> and they found in his car an AR-15 <laughs> and multiple magazines of ammunition because he thinks that maybe I'm killing people. Uh, so I ask myself, oh, really? hmm. why, why would Senator want to do hmm. this? So go to Rand Paul website and you see fire Dr. Fauci with a little box oh, no. that says contribute here. You can do $5, $10, $20, $100. Okay. $100 so you are making a catastrophic epidemic for your political gain. So the you only have thing politically that, the only attacked thing that your can, colleagues okay, okay. and in a politically reprehensible the way you attacked that I their reputation. Okay, you won't we, defend it. No, you won't well, argue it. I'm You'll just sorry, simply we're turn around the attack. We're going to continue this hearing. We yeah. have a number of questions yeah. from just other senators. One, one more minute, please. Well, if Dr. My, Fauci, I, I really appreciate your response, but we do have a number oh, of, of questions from you, senators, and we do have a second round, and I'm being asked to make sure that everybody has their time. So thank you. Thank you very much for allowing me, Madam Chair. We will move to... All right, so, you know, I commented kind of live there, but I do want to end on this. He complained and whined there at the end that, oh, you can't criticize me. You can't, you can't say these things or uh, raise these questions about me in Congress. You can't do that because there's people making threats against me. And uh, supposedly some guy with a gun, with his car filled with AR-15s, he probably had uh, some bump stocks in there as well, uh, was pulled over and told the police that he was going to kill Dr. Fauci. Well, it's funny that you're complaining about this. You're getting scrutiny and you're, you're saying that you're above the scrutiny because this happened. is making people crazies out there think that uh, Dr. Fauci is killing people. Well, Rand Paul and other Republican senators were shot at 
by a Democrat yelling, uh, this is for health care, because he was led to believe by Democrats and their state media mouthpieces that Republicans wanted everybody to die because they opposed Obamacare. The FBI originally said that that was just suicide by cop and they just sort of forgot about it. It fell down the memory hole. But then later, a couple years later, they actually had to come out and admit that that was domestic terrorism. So spare me your excuses and your whining, Fauci, because the guy you're talking to has actually been shot at by the crazies created by the people that love and adore you. Second, Fauci kept a defending himself by claiming that the accusations coming from Rand Paul and the questions he was asking weren't part of reality, were just in his imagination, or had no evidence. This is just absolutely false, especially when we're talking about the emails that Rand Paul was referring to. Now, I'm not going to read all these emails. I'll put a link to it in the description and pinned comment, but just a couple of these that I found very interesting. So in February of 2020, Dr. Fauci and Dr. Collins and at least 11 other scientists convened a conference call to discuss COVID-19. It was on this conference call that doctors Fauci and Collins were first warned that COVID-19 may have leaked from the WIV and further may have been intentionally genetically manipulated. Again, it's unclear if Dr. Fauci or Dr. Collins ever passed these warnings along to other government officials or if they simply ignored them. So then in April of 2020, more than two months after the original conference call, Dr. Collins emailed Dr. Fauci expressing dismay that the Nature Medicine article, which they saw prior to publication and were given the opportunity to edit, did not not squash the lab leak hypothesis and asks if the NIH can do more to quote put down the lab leak hypothesis. The next day Dr. Collins explicitly asked for more public pressure. Dr. Fauci cited the Nature Medicine paper from the White House podium, likely in an effort to further stifle the hypothesis that COVID-19 leaked from the Wuhan lab. Then, just a couple weeks later, he does an interview with National Geographic and just straight up says that there's no scientific evidence the coronavirus was made in a Chinese lab. So it's very telling to me that Fauci, who is unelected, is being so combative with a man who is elected to represent the people, and instead of just graciously answering the questions, he goes on the attack after the election elected representative. I just have a real problem with that and Fauci. To me, the way he was acting tells me that he is guilty of something. So yeah, pretty interesting exchange there between Rand Paul and Fauci, which is what we've come to expect. I think that's all I have for this one. I'm going to go work on some more videos. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and leave me a comment to let me know what you think.